All right, everybody, this is my 75. This one is um, acrylic, not glass. My only one that's acrylic. I got it off of somebody selling stuff off Let Go. It has an algae problem. I have a hair algae problem really bad. Now, I was conflicted on whether to video this, but I'm like, you know what, let's do it because I am using this product. try to get rid of it so I figured well you know what let's do it because that way if the product works which it is I can now show you guys that this works um, it is Dino X fauna marine reef power that's what I'm using I got the 500 ml bottle because you are supposed to use to dose 5 ml per 26 gallons every two days. You're supposed to repeat until it, the algae subsides. Um, Yeah, that's what I'm using. Now, the reason it was worse. Now, the walls, it, it really wasn't ever on the front. But then again, you know, I, I have my um, magnet for my front and everything. The I do have two power heads in here. Once again, my kids. Okay, so I recently had a death. This is my snowflake clown. He was paired, well, I'm pretty sure it was a boy, but then again, it can always change from boy. He was paired with a black frostbite that I just lost yesterday, um, which was actually quite large. There is a red firefish in here, a six line. That is a uh, flame tail blenny. I also have a watchman in here, but he hides. He really only comes out at night. Um, and then. That was my husband. Okay. I also have a, uh, like an orange stripe sand sifter in here. He's hiding at the moment, but he does come out to where you can see him. I have a carpet up here. I got a rock flower up there. My hammer. Now, I mean, it does look bad. It looks bad with the algae on it. Yes, it does. But my hammer is growing. Um, I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's some stuff on it. I, I do take the stuff off. I try not to disturb too, too much. Um, that way I let things work and do what they're doing. My goal is to add another black frostbite in here with this one as small as possible. So that way, since this one's been in here longer, it can, um, it can stay in charge or whatever I have another rock flower down here um, I have a lot of rock now once my algae problem which really is isolated to a few a few pieces of rock and the wall so I mean it's we're doing really great with getting rid of it um, once that is done, I'm going to completely rearrange. There's some things I want to get. I have now, yep, let's go back by 40 gallon. I have these magnetic shelves in my 40 gallon right there. And I think I'm going to end up putting some in here because, just so you know, the magnets on those rocks, they if you take the little velvet pad off the back side of the one that goes on the outside, it's a completely enclosed magnet. It is overflow safe, so it can go back there. Just so, in case anybody's looking for stuff. It, I think it's set up to where, I think I got the one where it has maybe eight frag holes in it. I'm going to use a Morris shelf. Not, I'm sure some frag things will be put in them, but not necessarily, because not all the things I get have an actual plug like that. Some of them are a flat disc. Um, 
but because of the height of this tank, it's really tall. It makes it difficult. Um, I want to keep the rock height in the back because this guy lives in this rock and he's always lived in this rock and I don't want to disturb his home and I don't want him down in the ground. So that is what I'm doing. This is my 75 all in one. Like and subscribe. SRS Fish Tanks.